Governor, have some Republicans, especially those in Congress, been too quick to rally behind Trump this week without knowing the full scope of the evidence in the records case? Look, uh, if you read that indictment, and as you recall, Bob, I did this work for seven years as the United States attorney in New Jersey, the fifth largest office in the country. And that indictment lays out some very, very disturbing facts about not only the president, the former president, keeping all these documents, the national security documents that he had no right to keep under the Presidential Rack Records Act or any other law, but worse, instructing his lawyers to lie and to obstruct the government from getting those documents back. Um, there's some very disturbing conduct in there, including the showing of these documents to other people that were not cleared to be able to see them. So I think that we've got to have a full trial here and a fair one. The president, the former president is presumed innocent until proven guilty. But the conduct in there, Bob, is deeply disturbing. And what I'm concerned about is, look, we need change at the Department of Justice. Um, and, and if I'm president, you can be guaranteed that we'll put an attorney general in there who will lead without fear or favor and clear out anyone who does show partisanship. Um, but that's a different issue than the conduct that Donald Trump engaged in. And in my view, that's not the conduct that we should have from someone who wants to be president of the United States again. Governor, you just said you'd make some changes at the Department of Justice. Some of your rivals in the race have said that the Justice Department, in their view, is weaponizing this investigation, targeting former President Trump. You know the FBI director for years, Chris Wray. Are your rivals wrong when they talk about the DOJ becoming weaponized? Look, I think the DOJ under Eric Holder became weaponized. Uh, and, and the fact of the matter is, when you look at what he did um, as his time as attorney general, both against Republicans and in refusing, along with Loretta Lynch later but on, what about now, Governor? Um, to prosecute uh, Hillary Clinton. Well, I'll get to it, Bob. And, and I think now what we're looking at is people seeing things as being inequitable that if you don't prosecute Hillary Clinton and you choose to prosecute Donald Trump, that that raises real questions in Republicans' minds, and it should. But it does not change the conduct. We would not be here if Donald Trump had simply returned the documents the dozens of times the government asked him to return them, the times that the grand jury served a subpoena for them. He waited, waited, and waited, defied the government, and then... Um, wound up having his, his house raided. And when they did, they found over 100 more classified documents after he had told everybody months earlier he had returned everything. That conduct is indefensible, in my view. And if it's true, uh, as alleged in the indictment, he is in severe legal trouble.